August audience. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Shishir. Mr. Viral Desai, Rajni Sinha, Devin Moza, Satish Rajendran, of course, and Samson Arthur, who has invited us to this event. My principal secretary, Jayesh Ranjan, and to all the friends from the media, and also various other customers of uh, Knight Frank who are also seated here. A very good morning to all of you, and my congratulations to the entire team of Knight Frank on moving into a new location in the city of Hyderabad. Hyderabad, <coughs> in fact, uh, Rajni sort of stole all the things I wanted to mention, so all the nice things. Uh, thank you, Rajni, for uh, you know putting it, putting it in perspective when it comes to our city as to how and why it is one of the most attractive destinations in the country today. Hyderabad is a city <coughs> which has a history of more than 429 years, as we all know. And it's one of those rare cities in India, I keep saying this uh, over and over, which has both the heritage, the old world charm, and also the new age vibrancy. It's a very resilient city, and uh, I'm very confident we'll beat you know, both uh, the blues of COVID and also several other challenges that kind of engulf us today in the year 2020. But if you look at the last six years, from 2014 to 2020, our IT exports have more than doubled from 56,000 crores to 128,000 crores. Our numbers have improved in terms of uh, employment as well. And also, in fact, uh, the place, the location where we're currently standing, all of us, in this Dallas center. Exactly six years ago, this was nothing but a huge hill. But now today, if you look around, you'll see some marquee names in business. You'll see some outstanding, beautiful buildings which have come up. And in fact, uh, if you forget the fact that you're in India and Hyderabad, and if you just look around, you might even think that this, is, this could be any part of the world, any developed nation in the world as well. That's how this place has been shaping up. As was pointed out by Rajni, in fact, last year, we've had a good run in terms of real estate, which typically is a direct indicator, you know, typically is a direct uh, reflection of the growth of the city. Last year, in fact, uh, three quarters in a row, we've even beaten Bangalore, which has traditionally been the leader in terms of office space absorption. But uh, on the whole, as was pointed out, in the last six years, we've jumped from sixth spot to second spot in the country. And I do believe uh, we are not happy. In fact, I am not happy being number two. We definitely want to be the number one in the country. And I do believe that uh, with the support of uh, wonderful partners like Knight Frank, we will surely get there in days to come. I would also like to quickly say one more thing. Hyderabad, as was pointed out by Rajni, has always been prospective in terms of uh, investments into infrastructure, be it our public transportation network, in the form of Metro Rail, or you know the strategic road development program that we've undertaken in the city of Hyderabad. Recently, you may have witnessed that uh, there were some issues with the rains and floods and cloud bursts that have bothered us a bit. I've also announced, as of yesterday, in fact, as of a couple of days ago, in fact, a strategic Nala development program, a stormwater drain, uh, you know, development program as well, which will plan for future cloud bursts and future climate uncertainties as well, which should also ensure that the city's livability rank should remain where it is right on top. If you look around, in fact, you'll see several flyovers, several bridges and other things that were built as part of the strategic road development program. But I think the key to any city's success really is in ensuring that public transportation, robust public transportation is provided to our citizens. We are going to expand Metro. We're also going to come out with an elevated bus rapid transport system, which will connect this western part of Hyderabad primarily where there is heavy congestion. And we've also brought in a policy called as a grid, a growth in dispersion policy, as part of which, in fact, uh, we have approved five IT parks in Uppal and Nagol and LV Nagar area. And I'm also going to soon, in fact, uh, lay the foundation for another IT park in the northern part of Hyderabad in Kompalli, which will also again, should also allow the city to grow in dispersion. In fact, yesterday, I have also signed, after the cabinet approval, an integrated township policy, whose salient features would be out 
possibly tomorrow in all the newspapers. In fact, integrated township policy envisions decongesting the core city of Hyderabad, giving more, offering more benefits to the real estate developers so that they can develop more and more satellite townships and counter magnets all around the outer ring road, outside of outer ring road, about five kilometers outside of outer ring road. This should again promote the live, work, learn, play kind of self-contained township mode wherein people necessarily do not have to travel inside of the city. One of the key challenges that I would like to point out with respect to cities in India, not just the city of Hyderabad, but cities in India is the crumbling urban infrastructure under the onslaught of rapid urbanization. Now, urbanization is something that we cannot do much about. We'll have to ensure that as we urbanize, because people will move, continue to move, continue to migrate, continue to urbanize and suburbanize. And in search of better livelihoods, in search of better medical opportunities, healthcare opportunities, in search of better educational facilities. The one thing we can do, though, certainly is, like I said, in large cities, we need to plan better public, in, public transportation. And in the suburbs, we need to have self-contained townships, which, ex, which is exactly what the government of Telangana is offering in the form of integrated township policy. While COVID has certainly, you know, put in a lot of, brought in a lot of uncertainty across the world and has posed a challenge to humanity, I do know for a fact that we are a very resilient city and a resilient state under the leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister. Our COVID handling also, in fact, if you look around our neighbors today, all the southern states in Maharashtra included, today, not just the government saying it, but we have several studies which also point out our COVID handling has been much better than many other cities and many other states around the, around the state of Telangana. We also have ensured, in fact, you know, we, today we look at uh, various cities across the country. There are several basic challenges, water, power, etc. But fortunately for us, under the leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister, we have provisioned adequate water supply for the city of Hyderabad. We've planned for it till the year 2050, for the next 30 years for sure. And this continued growth, continued momentum, combined with progressive policies, will ensure that we continue to attract investments, not only in IT. In fact, I would be remiss not to mention the life sciences sector, which is really, in fact, proved and shaped up to be one of the strengths, one of the core strengths for the city of Hyderabad. Today, if you look at it, in fact, uh, I was waiting for somebody to say it, we're not only the bulk drugs and pharmaceutical capital of the country, we're the vaccine capital of the world. As we all wear our face masks and, you know, as we all keep thinking about COVID and thinking about how the vaccine would save us, I assure you that whatever vaccine, whenever it will come up, Hyderabad will have a vital role to play because one third of human vaccines across the globe today are produced from our city of Hyderabad. So next time one of your children is getting a vaccine shot, there's one in a three chance it could have been manufactured right here in our city. So life sciences, IT, aerospace, defense, logistics, textiles, name it, food processing, name a sector, we are there and we will continue to push the envelope when it comes to progressive policy making and also infrastructure. My request to Knight Frank and also to the customers of Knight Frank who are present right here. You've named a number of good things about Hyderabad and how Hyderabad has been steadily growing and, you know, literally knocking on the doors of uh, the most attractive destinations in the country. And if you look at your competition as well, in fact, uh, I'm talking about Knight Frank's competition. That is the other, you know, real estate players and, uh, you know, uh, ma managed real estate, um, you know, companies in your space. We work closely with all of them. My request to Knight Frank is work closely with the government because there are a lot of policies in the offing. There are a lot of, you know, details that we can share with your prospective customers. Work closely with us in terms of attracting more and more business to our city. And also in, in the sense of planning, and offering the best value proposition for your clients. For instance, instead of western part of Hyderabad, if you choose to invest in the eastern part or the northern part of Hyderabad, we offer multiple benefits which are far more, which outweigh the kind of business proposition the western part of Hyderabad will offer you today. So familiarize yourself with the policies. Please ensure that your clients get adequate exposure to the various incentives that are offered by the government. And I do believe with partners like Knight Frank and others who have you know, a great ambition to see our state and our city succeed. Hyderabad's growth story will continue and will continue to prosper. Thank you very much for this wonderful